I just posted a new music video. So if you haven't checked that out, here's a little snippet. I was right for my assuming. Parts away with blessings. Took my L, slipped them to lessons. But what are you left with? Tell me what are you left with? Cause from where I'm standing, how I see you look completely lost to me. A dog is all you'll ever be. Thanking God that I can breathe it. I am free. I saw it from the start. Should have took the first flag and ran off with my heart. If you like that snippet and want to hear more, see more, then click the link in the description of the pinned comment for that. Go show some love. It means the world to me. I started YouTube for my music, so yeah. It would just mean a lot. What's up, 3% gang? It's London and Kush. And Joe on London time. And you might actually be on London. I can't stop myself from saying that. I'm not sure if this is the first song he's released since his crash. I feel like it is, right? Cause I haven't seen another one sent, but maybe I have. I reacted to him once before on this channel, um, the I Spy remix. So it was only just like a little part, you know, since there was a lot of people in it. I've never heard a song that was just his, but we're gonna hear that today. And I'm rooting for him because I'm just, I just am. I don't know, why would I not be? Let's just get into it. Let's just stop talking, right? But I do pause a lot. So if you don't like pausing, wrong video for you. This is definitely not the right channel. Um, yeah, it's just not, so <laughs> get the frick on if that's a problem for you. Okay, and Yo, spoke him alone. Okay, so first of off, yeah, I has first of off, who says that? <sighs> first of all, this has to be the first the first song after because if that starts off like that, but do you hear that free <laughs> in the background, okay. Okay, see as soon as I got to the hospital, the nurses told me I'm lucky to be alive. That actress, yeah. Blood clot in my chest. The shit near to kill me. Blood clots are scary. Like they're they're scary. Also, I'm getting kind of cold. Hold on. A few inches later. That was cool. Alright, so don't use the cell itself. Drop cool but rocks into a pipe and light it up. Think I didn't come from hell, my old bestie said my head's gone, it must be mental health. But I got killers in my family. In case you couldn't tell and I didn't wanna see them niggas, so I got a hell of stuff. And when I saw those idiots, I told them by myself that I don't fear no but He's the first one that doesn't say like he said idiot, but I usually hear whenever I'm listening to UK rap, idiot. He said that kinda normal. But okay, so he's telling a story and he's saying some real shit. He's not just okay. And when I saw those idiots, I told him by myself that I don't fear no body. I still go up, still gonna be bodied. But then when I still live in a cell, and if I have to go back there, I swear I'm going in. I pray a lot these days in case I have to sleep. I tell him to my mouth goes dry and I need a drink. I sleep well these days. I never miss a wink. I know I didn't catch the virus through this pain in my chest. A court case coming for fake. That was actually a good line too, because people talk about the virus all the time, but. I've never heard a line like that involving it, and it's, no, I didn't catch a virus, still got the pain in my chest. That was a good line. I mean, he's had, he's had a few good lines of this. Like, I'm so far impressed, plus this, this beat. It's like, I don't know if I'm cold or I'm getting chills because of this, like, song, because it's like a very emotional beat. The way it's, you could tell it's building up again, but the way it started, and then how it's like, I can look him in his eye, I'm a baby to pretend Hope of things I never said out loud, I've just been living with it I gotta speak hard, I was talking with my spirit I still tie around my neck and hang it from the ceiling Okay, wait, I need to go back because I was really into the beat and he just said something I still tie around my neck and hang it from the ceiling He burst into the room, I was in Paris when he see me So I put it to my wrist and yeah, I slid Then I cut it deep though, I gotta say I shit it I listen to my dad, I gotta say I really nearly did it But I told myself do anything silly. Bro, no, now I got chills for sure from him. Like, he's. I feel like for some rappers, that's what I just love now. And I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this or not. Bro, my head has chills right now. Um, <laughs> I really appreciate and look up to and respect rappers that are talking about their mental health issues because I feel like it's a really big problem, especially with guys, to talk about this stuff. And I feel like because so many rappers nowadays, are talking about that stuff. It's not like they never did before, but it's like, it's a lot more prevalent now. And it's really important to hear people that look up to them, like, oh, they also are going through things and they're talking about it. Cause like he said, he was like, he would just walk around with this shit and it would just like bottle, you know? It's something that he would just carry with him rather than open, a open up about it, which is an important thing to do. Cause how are you gonna get past it? If you're just like shoving it down and shoving it down, it's gonna come out in other ways that are not good. 
because that fuck with your spirit. So I just, yeah, I just really respect when artists open up like that so people can see that they're not alone. For the longest time, mental health, it was like, oh, if you have mental health, you're freaking crazy. If you have mental health issues, everyone has mental health. You get what I'm saying? And then it's like certain communities and stuff where it's more so frowned upon. And it's like, oh, that's, we don't have that. We don't have mental health issues or don't talk about it or you're a guy or, you know? So, it's important. All niggas don't fuck with me, and that's why I never lost, and that's why I'm a boss, and that's why I was the first one to rent my city. I got fake friends talking like I don't show intelligence, like I did a demonstration of diligence. Mind telling me about my residence, like I got. If only heard a minute and 37 seconds, and I know he's for sure intelligent. <laughs> like, rappers are really poets out here. I don't care what anyone says, because it doesn't matter what you're talking about, to put the lines, unless you're like. Lil Pomp, it's like, he's still a poet, but like, is he? You know what I mean? It's like, it's eh, eh. But rappers that actually be telling stories and stuff like him right now, he's talking about a lot of stuff. And to say it in the ways that they say it, and to also put like cadence and flow and everything into it, it's like pretty impressive to think about. It's like, oh yeah, that's, you're a poet. You're a poet, you're sitting there writing. Put a give a green light and, leave and affecting a lot of people. So I don't know about you, but I'm sure there's people that are out there, there is, I'm not sure. I know that there is people out there reading poetry, like it's like, but I feel like more people listen to music, that's more common. So they're affecting a lot of people with their words, good or bad, but mostly I feel like even if it's bad, it's it's more so relatable and it has a good effect. That makes sense, but anyway. And at the point my life was meant to start flashing out of the black top, walk up on the concrete with feathers everywhere, the monk was wrapped down, me I had it black top. Now I got bleeding on the brain, the same shit that killed my cousin, yeah, I swear I missed it. A couple of niggas turned out to be fake, uh, but I'm too rich to- That's, yeah. Lay on the bed and my chest was beating, the blood clot passed through my heart, and into my lungs and the pain was a deeper feeling. I shouted for the nurse, I could feel myself leaking. See, I've never, like I just, this is, the, like I said, this is the first song I've heard where it's just his song. And I feel like I like know him a lot more because of this. And like I see him as an artist in a way different light than I did from just like the little freestyle. Like I don't even really remember that. I'm gonna remember this 100%. It's just very well put together video. He doesn't need that many different scenes and everything like that. It's just this warehouse. We only got the nice car, we got the lights, the steam, and then he has all these like images that mostly relates to the crash because I feel like he also knew that people are going to be very interested in that and what happened and how he is and like how he felt about just you know just his thoughts or whatever just that crash basically so I don't know it's a, it's a well put together video and with everything he's talking about he's not just talking about the crash or he's going way deeper the face full of sweat, could barely catch my breath Even though I knew I was hanging by a thread I told the nurse that there's no way I'm dying on this bed Fuck that now I'm so Yeah Yeah, the way that mm -hmm. That shows a lot of strength right there And then the beat just went with it that just gave me a feeling that I don't know how to describe, but a feeling. I was hanging by a thread, I told the nurse that there's no way I'm dying on this bed, fuck that. Now I'm supposed to feel weak, for some reason now I feel like a Wolverine, like I smashed the side of the car up with my physique, and left the big boy dent in the concrete. The way he takes it off, it was like a murder scene, huh? Oh, this piano was not there the whole time? Like the samples, like I really can't get over the samples. I don't know why, I just love those types of like, I don't know if it's pitched up. I mean, it is pitched up for sure, but I don't know if it was like a, I don't know what it was that was it's sampled from. But just ones that sound like that, you know, or like the opera. I don't listen to opera, but I love one that has those in the background. This is an opera, but I don't think so. It's almost like gospel. Whoever did these edits too, like this digital, animation what's it called whatever they did graphics digital graphic i don't know they did a great job i wonder that's probably going to be his album his next album name maybe maybe not yeah that was a really strong and powerful song i believe and that i'm definitely that's something that i'm gonna remember i'm never gonna be like have i reacted to him before i know for a fact that i have i mean i already knew that i did beforehand but i'm gonna remember the song 
and the last time it's like I knew that I reacted to him but I didn't fully remember what he sounded like or my opinion on him and now it's like no I remember my opinion and I know how I feel and I know that I reacted and yeah you guys get it anyways that's it for this video so make sure to check out my music and until next time 3% gang Lolo Kush out Talking about everything from life to death to everything between It was butterflies when you arrived Turned to carnivores inside Heating me up alive Just trying to survive Thinking of your face and I no longer can describe